Huntsville has enjoyed a 75-year history in the space exploration industry as a supplier of technology for rocket propulsion, space station construction, the Hubble Space Telescope, and transportation to Mars and other celestial bodies. This built on the Space 1.0 discoveries of Galileo and other early astronomers. These accomplishments occurred in the government-driven environment of the first space race, known as Space 2.0, where few risks were taken, schedules were relaxed, and mismanagement of funds created stalled progress. Today, however, is the Space 4.0 era, where Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and other space barons are driving the commercialization of space with emphasis on taking calculated risks, where schedules are tight and cost minimization is paramount. Musk's goal is a 65% reduction in the cost of a pound of cargo delivered to Earth orbit, and he is almost there. The Barron's objectives, of course, are to facilitate the commercialization of space exploration in the same manner as the Hudson's Bay Company commercialized the seaborne trade routes of the 15th and 16th centuries. The Space Barron's destinations, however, are Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, the asteroid belts, and beyond. If Huntsville is to remain a key player, it must evolve itself from beyond the old culture and we must become the leader under the new Space 4.0 rule set. We must course correct to bring new technology to the industry by adopting commercial practices. The Institute for Exotic Science provides the commercially oriented technology development infrastructure that the industry needs. Huntsville's Marshall Space Flight Center and Redstone Arsenal have shelves full of technology that began under the old methods but which were abandoned along the way. These technologies are available for those asking or are in the hands of the many local scientists who partially developed them. Inventor Bill Dent was working on detecting buried explosives on the roadside when the end of the Iraq War caused his project to be canceled. Now at the Institute, he is working to apply the same technology for detection of illicit drugs in sealed ocean-going shipping containers. Retired NASA scientist Richard Eskridge is working to apply his thruster technology to meet the requirements of tens of thousands of small satellites that are planned for launch to provide internet service to the developing world. At the Institute, we harness this repository of technologies by providing a platform where the inventor can become a member of our team of diverse technical and business talents that can further mature the technology and take the resulting products to market and spin out companies that create value for the inventors, the Institute, and the global space economy. The Institute received an initial $555,000 investment and seeks tens of millions to expand into permanent facilities, build its inventory of science and technology assets, and produce the leading edge technologies needed to fully take advantage of the business opportunities presented by the new space economy. Our 10-year vision is a campus holding hundreds of employees, dozens of spin-out companies, and highly profitable commercial operations. Launchpad prize money will be used to organize this fundraising effort.